the Lakers finally fired Darwin Ham this past weekend. They got rid of him. They axed him. They cut cords. And I think it was the right thing. And not going to lie, the media is a little, how can I say it, split on this. Or they're coming to the aid of Darwin Ham. I don't know which one's more important to the media. I don't know if it's, I don't know, I don't know, I don't, I'm not reading the media too well right now. I like, for, for, like, it does seem like they want to defend Darwin Ham and they're kind of saying, like, yeah, he shouldn't have been fired. He's a scapegoat. You know, who else are they going to get? Like, that's the problem. Like, you don't even have a plan B and you're getting rid of Darwin Ham. And if, you know, if that's their true intention to defend Darwin Ham, you know, I, I could buy that. And like me personally, I don't think he's a good coach. Couldn't call a timeout. We'll get into why I don't think he's a good coach. But I, I respect that point of view. Like, okay, like he's he's the best of whoever's available, blah, blah, blah. Like, don't fire the coach. Let him, you know, get to his third year or whatever. But to be honest, I feel like the media just wants to attack LeBron James and they want to spin this as LeBron James is the coach killer. And they just want to use this to, you know, bring LeBron down and criticize LeBron, do all this stuff. And, you know, LeBron, I've, I've come around as a LeBron fan, especially obviously since he joined the Lakers. But I've never been shy to point out his flaws and, you know, criticize him for his flopping when he was doing it. All that good stuff. All that good stuff. So I'm not I'm by no means like the biggest LeBron defender. But on this one, I, I Man, if if calling Darwin Ham a bad coach is being a LeBron defender, I'm a LeBron defender because if calling for Darwin Ham's job, asking for him to get fired is me defending LeBron, so be it. Because, man, Darwin Ham, everyone saw the memes. Everyone saw them. Like, And they were right. They were correct. They were funny because they were true. Like, everyone was saying, like, damn, the team goes on a 20 20- Oh, run. What is Darwin Ham doing? He's looking like Arthur with his hands in his pocket and not doing anything. And you as a fan, you're just ready to pull your hair out. And you're like, how are you not seeing this, my guy? How are you not seeing this? Everyone in the arena, everyone in my all my group chats is like, bro, you need to call a timeout. Everyone, the commentators are saying it. They're like, I'm really surprised he's not calling a timeout. And that's just like the simple stuff. Like in the NFL, kind of, I'm kind of thinking of McCarthy, like super bad time management, like doesn't know, you know, down and distance and time remaining and how many timeouts I have and like how I should, should strategize that. That's Darwin Ham. He's just terrible with the time. He doesn't understand momentum. He, he's, oh my God. Another one is his rotations are like the timing of his of his rotations when he experiments is usually like in a very important game. Like, at the end of the season when the Lakers needed to win out. And we got lucky because, you know, the Kings and the and the Warriors, you know, kind of choked their last few games. And we were able to sneak into the eighth seed. But he was doing bad rotations then. He was doing terrible rotations against the Nuggets. He, he was just, he's not a good coach. He, like, there's other, there's other clips where he's not, he's not really known for drawing up plays out of the timeout. And maybe the, the video that was circulating around the playoffs was an extreme. Because, like, that one was embarrassing. Like, you could just tell everyone lost his interest in what he was saying. Westbrook was just kind of in the back. That was a couple of seasons back. That's why I had Westbrook. Or, like, that was last season. That's why I had Westbrook there. But regardless, even if I wouldn't seen that clip, even if no one would have, you know, posted that during the playoffs, I could have told you that this man is not good at drawing plays after a timeout from, from a ball in. Like, he's just not good at doing that. Like, there's some teams that get free points off of those, and the Lakers never did. And you could blame the players, but you could also blame the coach. I didn't like the way he handled the media. He kind of threw D'Lo under the bus. As a coach, you can't do that. There's no way he could have stayed as a coach of the, of the Lakers. There's no way. There was too much animosity. It looked like the locker room wasn't following him anymore. Like, he lost the voice. He lost the locker room. Once you lose the locker room, if you're not an elite coach— it's very hard to get it back, and it was just time for a new voice. It was just time. And I'll tell you this, if the Lakers miss the playoffs next year and people are going to want to come back to this year and be like, look, Darwin Ham took similar teams to the playoffs, blah, blah, blah. Like, he took the Lakers to the Western Conference Final. 
I think it will be more on the players that come in or are let go this offseason. LeBron being another year older, he's going to be 40. AD's health, like, is he going to be healthy like he was this year? Probably not. I think all of those will play more a factor if the Lakers potentially miss the playoffs next year than Darwin Ham leaving. Like, I don't think anyone could take a victory lap. Any Darwin Ham defenders could take a victory lap next year if the Lakers miss the playoffs and be like, ha ha, you should have kept Darwin Ham. I think there'll be a multitude of other factors other than, damn, we should have kept Darwin Ham. Uh, like, there's going to be so many more things that I think of. Hopefully, it doesn't happen. Hopefully, Lakers make the playoffs next year. Go on a deep playoff run. But if they don't, as a Laker fan, I feel like there's going to be a multitude of reasons of bullet points that I say to myself or anybody that cares to listen before I go, man, you know, you know what would have really made us made the playoffs in 2025? If we just kept Darwin Ham, if we, damn, if we just kept Darwin Ham, we would have been in the playoffs. Like, I don't think I'm going to say that. So overall, thank you, Darwin Ham, for two years. Thank you for not calling a timeout in game three against the Nuggets to stop the run or in game five as well. Uh, thank you. Thank you for all of that. Thank you for, you know, kind of holding us back last year. And uh, even though we did make the Western Conference final, thank you for that. And uh, if that makes me a LeBron defender, I guess I'm a LeBron defender. But um, as overall, I'm happy that Darwin Ham is no longer, no longer employed by the Lakers.